All right. Um, suppose we wanted to, to evaluate the integral of uh, 8x cubed uh, into x to the power 4 plus 1 all raised to the power 15. Um, what we could do uh, to evaluate this is uh, we could uh, first expand uh, x to the power 4 plus 1 to the power 15 in a binomial expansion. Um, so the expansion, um, if you remember your binomial theorem, um, since this is power 15, is going to have uh, actually 16 terms. The first term is going to be x to the power 4 all to the power 15, etc., etc. In total, we're going to have uh, 16 terms. So we could expand that and then multiply through by 8x uh, cubed. So it's um, it's going to be a bit involving, uh, but uh, possible. Then we multiply by 8x uh, uh, cubed. Um, so yeah, it's, it's going to be challenging and long, uh, but possible. Um, next, though, um, in B, suppose we have got 5x dx divided by the square root of uh, x squared plus 3. Right, um, this time we could write this in this form. Now, um, expanding this one is going to be a challenge because this is not a positive integer. So um, it's actually going to be impossible because we're going to have uh, an infinite number of terms here. Um, so this is going to be a real problem. Now the method of u substitution uh, is actually designed to enable us to integrate uh, integrals of this uh, nature um, in an elegant manner. So um, how does it work? So the method of u substitution is actually the reverse of uh, the chain rule of differentiation okay so this is the reverse of the chain rule so the chain rule enables us to um, differentiate expressions without expanding um, the method of u substitution is going to enable us to integrate expressions without having to expand so just so that we get up to speed with this i'm quickly going to work through uh, a dif a differentiation example that involves uh, the chain rule so if we had uh, x plus 4 raised to the power 16 then by the chain rule um, we can differentiate this by first differentiating the power so we multiply by the power we subtract one and then after that we're going to multiply by the derivative of the function inside here which is the inner function so that is going to be 4x to the power of 3. Um, and then ultimately this thing is going to simplify to um, so 4 times 16 is going to be 64x cubed uh, x to the power of 4 plus 1 all raised to the power of 15. Notice how this expression looks 
pretty close to this one it's actually um, a constant multiple of that one if you multiply this uh, this expression by 8 then you get this one the important thing that we want to take away from this is the relationship between this term and this term um, so notice that this term we got from the derivative of the inner term times a constant okay so this term is a constant multiple of the derivative of this one here so or if you like if you differentiate this you get a constant multiple of this term so whenever you get that type of situation then the integral uh, of that nature is going to be a natural candidate for the method of u substitution so these are integrals where the derivative uh, of one term is equal to a constant multiple of the other term of the other term so in this case the derivative of this is 4x cubed this is a constant multiple of 4x cubed so whenever you get uh, integrals with that type of um, where you got two terms with that type of a relationship then the method of u substitution is uh, natural um, for this second one look at this the derivative of this is uh, 2x um, 2x is a constant multiple of 5x or 5x is a constant multiple of 2x basically you can get one from the other by multiplying by a constant so whenever this happens in the method of u substitution we let this term be equal to u so we're going to do this in a uh, um, flow diagram so what we do is we let u be equal to what I'm going to call uh, the one term here and then after we have done that we are going to express the integral in terms of u entirely uh, in express integral in terms of u so we're going to want to write everything in terms of u that's step number two once we have done that we should have a simpler integral then we integrate uh, that simpler integral and then once we get the integral then we uh, substitute back and write things in terms of x if the original integral was in terms of x so then we substitute uh, back so that is uh, the how many steps do we have here so this is one two three that, that is the four steps that are involved in um, evaluating um, integrals using the method of u substitution so in the um, next uh, video we are going to look at uh, actual examples and uh, they are going to involve these two of how we actually work uh, this method through okay 
So otherwise, thank you for watching now. Uh, please uh, do not forget to uh, subscribe. And uh, if you've got any questions uh, on uh, uh, any of the videos, do post uh, in the comment section. Thank you.